This is a day that the Lord has made. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Whew. Listen, this is September. This is when I want to be in my best, <laughs> best life. And y'all, if you don't believe it, I, I do. I believe that I get tested. And um, I said this is a season I don't want to complain. I said this is a season I want to live my best life. But things happen. <laughs> and we are going to shake it off. Shake it off. And keep it moving. But I needed to talk to you all. I need. <laughs> I'm not going to call this a vent. I, venting session. I just want to spend time with y'all. Because y'all bring me joy. It is in real life. Thursday morning. Thank goodness I'm working from home. So I have extra time. You know, life goes, I'm a planner. I like to budget. I like to schedule for most things. If you've been watching my channel, there are some things I don't want to schedule. I don't want to schedule a nail appointment. I don't want to schedule a hair appointment. I just want to go in when I feel like it. Even so, let me keep track here. The things that I do plan and schedule, sometimes I don't go the way I thought. And if you watched my shorts yesterday, I woke up feeling so good. I woke up with back pain, which every now and then I get lower back pain. I will not take medicine. I just let it go through. But even that was not going to put me down. <laughs> so I did a short first thing yesterday saying how grateful and thankful I was. And then, yeah, later that day, it got disrupted. But we're going to keep it moving, shaking it off, because the Lord is greater than what happened. And this is teaching my son. Everything that I go through, my son goes through. I am a single mother. I don't keep anything from him. Because I grew up that way where there was a lot kept from me. And I think now I don't know how to deal with certain things. But it took me many, many, many years probably till I was 35 to figure that out <laughs> I don't want my son to have to wait till he's 35 ish to figure out that life ain't perfect and to give him the skills he needs to be as successful as he can be And I don't know if you, I told you guys, um, I took a baby step in the big decision that I am going to make. I have many, many confirmations this year letting me know this is the right thing, but it's going to take baby steps. And I'm okay with that. I'm not worrying about it anymore. It's not. 
weighing me down. <sighs> okay. How are you guys doing? Oh, I was going to ask, what is your temperature where you are at today? I looked at my weather app. That's something I like to do every morning to figure out, you know, what do I need to wear? Does my son need anything special due to the weather? I don't look at the news, but I do look at the weather. And it's going to be 110 degrees. The hottest here. Come on now. And it's going to still be in the hundreds, you know, through the next week. Through the week. Because I think my weather app goes from, like, say today's Thursday. It goes from Thursday to Thursday. I think is what it shows me. So, your girl is not wearing too much makeup still. I'm keeping it light and powder re <laughs> there's no liquid no intense moisturizer for me because I'm oiling so today's Thursday which means tomorrow I have the day off I'm doing my best to take every Friday off because that's just what I've chosen. I am not trying to overwork myself, overwhelm myself. My schedule is set up to have every other Friday off anyways, but the Fridays that I don't have off, I will be using vacation or sick because there's doctor's appointments, there is football games that I might want to leave early for, etc, etc. And I'm still enjoying my light shade here. If things go well tomorrow, I will show you guys my game day makeup. Game day is tomorrow. And I think I haven't even watched preseason NFL football games. But I think they're already going to go into the start of the real season. Is that what you call that? I don't even know. So I'm excited to watch NFL football games too. You know, now that my life is in order, I have that, I'll have that Sunday available to go watch football. I usually go to my brother's house because I don't subscribe to nothing that has football games. I keep things minimal in many ways <laughs> as possible. Now, if that would only work for my weight, life would be very great. Anybody can re that can relate to that? I think I finally figured out what triggered me to gain weight in my childhood. I think I figured that out on my own. And I just got to give it to God and say, let it go. Take, take it off. I don't want it anymore. But you know, I just, I grew up where my parents... didn't have the funds to do anything extra and if they really noticed hey Vanessa's gaining a lot of weight like let's see how we can help her that wasn't a thing <laughs> it's okay it's okay 
I don't. Is there anything you regret in life? I don't know if I have any regrets. You know, because every situation that has happened to us shapes us to be who we are. And it makes us unique. Like, why change that? Why change that at all? For instance, um, well, this is kind of related. My nose. I don't really like my nose. I wish I had my mother's nose, but I had my father's nose. But you know what? This is who I am. I am unique. I still have not purchased me some new tweezers, but I, I will soon. I just don't have enough in my cart because I don't have Arizona Prime. So I don't want to pay extra shipping costs. I'm waiting to need other items before I check out. Oh, that eyeliner makes my eyes watery. So yeah, oh, I said I was going to smile when I did my next video. I totally forgot that. You know, every time something bad happens, I pray that's the first thing I do I pray to the Lord to give me strength to give me courage to give me patience to give me wisdom strength whatever it is I need I ask the Lord for that and then I start being thankful for what the good things and then I remind myself this life is temporary Keep your eye on the skies to God's creation, to God's heavenly kingdom, Jesus Christ. That's what I do to get through. I cannot imagine my life without my faith. And I'm curious, what do, do you others out there do? How, when you're in a bad situation, how do you get through it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's that's what I do. And I'm not going to let it worry me. Even if the worst... Okay, I guess the worst case scenario is death. I feel like I'm ready. I repent every single day to get to heaven. The next worst case scenario is jail, prison. I have a brother in prison. Again, that's not bad. That's not too bad. And of course, you know, another thing could be bankruptcy or losing the house, finance, something financial. You know what, money comes and money goes. Everything that I have, my value, my worth is in me. It's not in the things I have. It's not in the position I have. It's not in where I live. It's not in what I drive. It's in me. My confidence, my worth, my faith. And this life is temporary. So don't stress about, don't stress about stuff. It is what it is. <laughs> You'll find the strength to get through it, no matter what.
no matter what. Okay, y'all, my friends, I am so glad that you spent time with me because I needed this. I hope you have a great, great morning. Remember, today is going to be what you make of it. Let things go. Stay positive. Stay grateful. Focus on the good. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. I would love your comments and I'll see you next time.